Hello everyone, welcome back to Higher Mathematics. Happy to see you here. Really interesting system of equation today. We have x square minus y equal to 31 and y square minus x equal to 31. How can we solve this interesting system of equation? Let this first equation will be equation 1 and this equation will be equation 2. Let's start with this one. And what are we going to do next? What tricks are we going to use right here? Let's subtract. So subtract. Subtract. Let's subtract first equation minus second equation. So let's 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 do this. What we'll have if we subtract the first one and the second one. We will have x square minus y square and plus x minus y equal to zero. Just sub subtraction first and second. Why is that good for us? Because if we know an identity a square minus b square which is equal to a plus b a minus b we can easily look at this problem and we can easily use this identity between this x square minus y square. So let's use this identity right here. We will have x minus or x plus y and x minus y, x minus y. And of course this one we will have in the end plus x minus y equal to zero. We just use an identity with this x square minus y, a y square. And right now I want to show you a really interesting trick because x minus y right here and x minus y right here is a common, so we can easily factor in it. So we can easily factor it. What we will have x minus y right here in the first parentheses. And in the second parentheses we will have x plus y plus 1 equal to 0. And right now I want to mention that we have a product of two elements, so this one equal to 0. So x minus y equal to 0, x is not equal to 0, so right here we don't have any roots in this case. But right here, x, x plus y plus 1 equal to 0, we can easily find really good equation for us, because we can easily write that x plus y equal to minus 1. So this is our equation that we need. Of course we can, we can let it as, as 3, so this is our third equation. So I hope you understand this step. Okay, let's go next. Right here we sub subtraction this two equation and right now I want to add. So let's add. Let's add first equation plus second equation. What we will have as a result if we add in this? We will have x square plus y square and minus x plus y equal to 62. And if you look closely to this interesting equation, we can see that x plus y equal to minus 1, we can easily plug in instead of this x plus y. And if we plug in this, we will have that our x square plus y square and minus, right here minus 1, we plug in this, equal to 62. Or if we go further, we can easily minus minus plus, right here bringing on the right hand side, we will have 61. So x square plus y square equal to 61. And this will be our equation 4. So this is equation 4 that we need in further, in further solution. So this is our equation 4. So I hope you understand this step. It will be really good that you understand this step. Okay, what are we going to do next? We have equation 3. We have equation 3. Let's read this equation 3 to the power 2 square. Let's raise this. I write it right here. So right here we're raising raising, right here we're raising equation 3 to square. If we raise this, what we'll have? We will have x plus y square equal to minus 1 square. We're just raising both sides to the second power. Of course, right here we have a formula, so we will have a classic formula x square plus y square plus 2xy equal to equal to 1. And if we look closely to this to this one equation, we can see that x square plus y square equal to 61. So this element equal to 61. And as a result, if we go further, we will have that our 61 plus 2xy equal to equal to 1. Or if we bring this 61 right here on the right hand side, we will have 2xy equal to minus 60. And of course, if we divide in both sides by, by 2, we will have xy equal to minus 30. So we will have our next equation. Let this equation will be our equation, equation 5. So this is our equation 5. 
we have a lot of equation one two three four five and let's let's write this equation i want to write this right here in this way so the third equation that we find x plus y equal to minus one x plus y equal to minus one the next equation the fourth one x square plus y square equal to 61 and the fifth equation this is our force the fifth equation x y equal to minus 30 so this is our first first x y equal to minus 30 so we find our five elements five really important equation that we need to to find our solution to find our x and y and right now i want to start with this one we need to know one really important identity so what is identity looks like take a look x minus y square equal to x plus y square and minus 4xy this is very important identity we need it right here really need it we really need it right here but if you look closely we can easily see that we know these elements we know these elements because x plus y equal to minus 1 and xy equal to minus 30 minus 30 so we can easily find x minus y square what it will be equal to it will be equal to minus 1 square from here and of course minus times minus will be plus so plus 120 which is equal to 121 and let's go further we have x minus y square equal to 121 so x minus y squared equal to 121 and we can easily find our x minus y from here taking square root from both the side x minus y equal to plus minus 11 so x minus y equal to plus minus 11 so we have x plus y we have x minus y we can easily find our roots we have two system of equation the first one system of equation x minus y equal to let's go 11 x minus y equal to 11 and x plus y equal to minus 1 we bring it right here x plus y equal to minus 1 and we will have the second system system b with the minus sign x minus y equal to minus 11 and x plus y equal to minus 1 okay we have two system of equation we can easily we can easily find it if we add two system of equation so if we add first one to the second one we will have the 2x equal to 10 and x equal to 5 and from this equation for example 5 minus y will be equal to 11 from here we know that y equal to minus 6 so we have first pairs of solutions 5 and minus 6 and let's go to this system of equation if we add it in the same way we will have that our 2x equal to minus 12 and x equal to minus 6 and if we plug in this minus 6 it doesn't matter on what equation we will have that our y equal to equal to 5 we will have second pairs of second pairs of solution really interesting system of course we can easily check it i write this answer right here so answer answer we have x equal to 5 y equal to minus 6 and the second x equal to minus 6 and y equal to y equal to 5 this is our answers this is our this is our answers of course we can easily check it real quick what we will have as a result we will have that minus 6 square minus 5 equal to 36 minus 5 we will have 31 which is good for us and the second equation 5 square minus minus 6 we will have 25 plus 6 we will have 31 so first equation works and of course the second equation will works in this way as well this is our first equation and of course we can easily check it with the second equation really interesting system of equation i like it, this system of equation i hope you understand this explanation it will be really good that you understand it if you enjoyed this video put your thumbs up turn the notification bell yeah i will really appreciate it and it inspires me a lot to make a new content every day thank you so much for your video for your support it's really important for me and of course subscribe for more videos i try to make every video every day with higher math so we improve our knowledge as well 
and thank you so much for watching. See you in the next videos, have a great day and take care of yourself. See you in the next videos.